And, and today we are actually going to make this thing behind me, which is a nice like cafe or a restaurant on a corner of a building or a street. Actually, I just had this idea uh, already in my head for a, a long time. I really wanted to make this and I am super duper proud of this project. It's actually not even that hard to make, but it is really a really nice build and I'm really in love with it. So as you can see, I am in a new update. I am in, I think 1.17 right now. That's why I have these new, uh, what are they called? These new leaves behind me. And I thought, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to incorporate them and also like use that color, that pinkish magenta color. I wanted to use the magenta as a detail or a accent color on this build. And it is really looking great. So as you saw in the beginning, it's a really nice small build and it's great for a tutorial. So I have a look around before we actually going to start to build this. So. I initially initially started with this corner itself and then I started to build up and build sideways and uh, I had some cool reference images on the internet but ev everything you see here is completely original or unique as I like to build my builds pretty uniquely. <laughs> So I'm really happy how it turned out, I did some tables, uh, a nice banner, a big banner with some well fake letters, but it's a really cool design, I'm really liking it. As you can see I didn't do the inside, uh, if I did the inside then uh, this tutorial video will, will be way too long. Uh, so yeah, some nice overhang and some lights. Uh, also the pink or, and the magenta color back in the parasols over here there is nothing really inside here just to give you an idea of what you can do let's say you have ever a big plaza or a big uh, like centerpiece of your city this could easily fit inside that or in the middle of that uh, somewhere on a corner uh, somewhere at the center of your city uh, this would actually make a lot of difference and it looks incredib incredibly good and I'm really happy with it. So let's not talk too much and just start with the tutorial. And the exact thing what we are going to make is this corner itself. So all the things you just saw in a minute were just some add-ons stuff that I added just to make it a little bit better or looking better. But this is, this is actually what we are going to make in this tutorial video. So, as you can see, it's just a little corner. It's mainly about this cafe or uh, restaurant underneath uh, or here, here below and not really the top because this is just uh, simply copy and pasting uh, layers on top of each other. So, this will be the main part we are going to look at and we are going to make. And maybe I should mention this tutorial video is also survival friendly the building blocks in this uh, in this build are not really that special so you can easily make it in survival as well so let's start so for the start we are going to use the granite block and what we're going to do is we're gonna just choose a block and place one then we are going to count 11 so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven on the 11th block we are going to place a granite block as well. So in between those two blocks we are going to put a strip of grey concrete in the ground. Really simple. Sorry for the mouse clicking by the way, my microphone somehow picks my keyboard and my mouse up sadly. Uh, so yeah, I wish I could change that but sadly it picks it up so I hope you can bear with me with the clicking noise. So after we have done that, we are going to put a, sand, a smooth sandstone block here in this corner over here. We're going, to do, we're going to do this on the other side as well and in the middle as well. So you will have a space of three on either side like this. Then we're going to put the sandstone wall over on all those sandstone blocks. So over here in the corners and in the middle as well. And then we are going to put gray concrete between 
these smooth sandstone blocks as well in the ground like this so this will be pretty simple we are going to do that but then over there on the other side so what we are going to do is we are going to count from this granite block and we are going in a diagonal so one two three and on the fourth block we are putting a granite block as well so you will have a space of one two three between these two blocks in a diagonal then we are actually going to copy this thing but then over here so as well one over here then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven we are going to put the gray concrete in the ground between these then smooth sandstone on either side and in the middle same goes with the sandstone wall and then gray concrete between these sand blocks like this and as you can see now we have like a little corner so we are going to start with this granite block and what we are going to do is we are going upwards one two three four five six and seven and the sixth and seventh block will be like this and we are going to do this with the other granite blocks as well and fill this in completely like so and we are going to do this exactly on the other side as well we will end up like this and then we are going to do the diagonal as well so just place the diagonal blocks on only these two levels like this really easy really simple just this and that's enough we have this granite part but it's pretty dull and pretty plain there is nothing really special going on so that's why i like to use polished granite just to make a mix of these blocks and just to uh, give it some variety you know and um, you can just go and like plop some down and maybe over here one and over here then maybe one here here and here and one over here and it doesn't really matter just go around and get some extra detail by using polished granite in the other granite blocks so i did that really quickly and it looks 10 times better just adding some extra blocks to give it some extra detail now to make it really easy we are going to go to the smooth sandstone and what we're going to do is we're going to put up the smooth sandstone all the way to the top till here and we are going to do this with the smooth sandstone and also the sandstone walls over here there there and on these three as well i told you it's pretty easy it's nothing really hard to build this build is actually pretty small pretty easy to build uh, but just using some walls some uh, extra detail blocks it can get way more detailed than you think uh, even though it's a small building so if you have watched my last video or my video of the the big victorian house or the victorian uh, build that i did there i give you the exact same tips just using some extra blocks and going 3d so making sure that you make the wall a little bit thicker than just one wall can give so much more detail in your builds uh, and that's the same principle i use in this build as well even though this is a pretty small build okay so next step we are going to the gray concrete again and it's actually pretty easy so on the top over here on top of the smooth sandstone we are putting a layer of gray concrete that's about it now if we go inwards over here i mean in the, at the outside we want some extra lighting in here just to give it some nice detail if you walk by it gives the idea that there are little led lights uh, underneath the glass uh, and we are going to do this with end rods and end rods are a little bit expensive i know uh, but if you have them it's a really nice addition to your build so over here we punch out two blocks and we put two end rods over here we do the same thing over here and you know it on the other side as well over here and over here and that's it 
Come to the back of this, uh, the building, we are putting the grey concrete line all the way to the other side. I forgot to do that. So for the glass we are using the glass of the black stained glass pane and we are going to fill these empty spaces with glass to make some nice big windows. We do this over here and over here as well. Now we are going to use the granite slab and what we are going to do is we are going to use this diagonal and we are giving it one slab of space in between like this so just really simple make a little line underneath here and that's it now we are going down over here and what we are going to do is we are going to make this diagonal line and we are going to fill this with grey concrete so from this block one two and then make a diagonal and you will end up at this block as well really simple nothing really uh, nothing really special but just to give it some darker color in the knee so it looks like it's actually on a foundation instead of just a slab of grass so some extra detail part is with some chains really easy so count from one of these sandstone walls and go down by one so one and then one down at two and we make a beam of chains underneath here we are then we are going to skip one sandstone block or sandstone wall and we put one underneath here as well just to give it some kind of grid pattern on the window uh, instead of just having one big window uh, and we are going to do this on this side as well for most buildings uh, sometimes you can just duplicate one Part to the other side of the build makes it really easy instead of that you have a build that is asymmetrical meaning that one side is different than the other side because then it's way harder uh, so that's why this build is actually pretty easy because one side is the exact same thing as the other side that's why I love this build so much because it's actually pretty simple but so beautiful as well so let's keep going so we are going to use the deep slate tile slab for the next part which is also pretty easy we need a full block over here and then a slab like this and we are just going to make the same pattern all the way till you end up at this underneath this or above this sandstone wall so from this sandstone wall to this sandstone wall you make a little overhang by using the deep slate tiles slabs like this and you guessed it we are going to do the exact same thing over here that already makes an insane amount of difference and it took away that flatness that it had before so i'm really happy just adding this makes just an insane amount of difference and i'm really happy with that so one thing are, is still missing and which is the big like parasol or well it's actually not a parasol more like a, a little overhang or, you know in in paris or in france you will see this a lot uh something that's uh, hanging over the windows or over a door to keep you safe from rain uh, which we will make over here so how are we going to do this we will start over here on one of these sides uh, i prefer this side you see this block go one down so on this the same level as this one we put one stair like this so it's sticking outwards as you can see there's a little space over here like this then one two and we're going to make a corner like this then we add one and we make a corner we're gonna make or add one as well over here make a corner again and then as you can see if we do one two we will have the exact same thing and it will line out perfectly looks already really cool to make it even look better really easy add slabs on top like this and actually delete this slab and add this one down here do this exact same thing over here and now it feels like it's more roundish on the top so as you can see if you stand down here you see this li these little parts of the end rods and it looks like they are really small little led lights instead of 
big end rods. And there's a really nice little trick and we are going to use that trick underneath this parasol or overhang as well. Add one here and add one here and that's about it. So if you look from an angle from like far away, the only thing you see is this little small of the pointy part of the end rod, just the top, uh, in this case the bottom, and it gives a really nice effect. So end rods is the way to go in this case, uh, which looks the best in my opinion. So to give it to feel like it's not just built on a, a piece of grass, we are going to make a walkway or sidewalk and we use these stone bricks and we are going to count one, two, three and four. Really easy. Just fill all of this over till here or something. Then same over here. One, two, three and four. And this whole part that I dig out right now. So this whole part will be filled in with these stone bricks. So at the end it will look like this. But just to clarify, I just use four on either side. You can also choose to do two or three or six or whatever you like. I just use four. So of course you can change it uh, the way you like. You don't have to use granite as well. You can also use a different color. Maybe uh, you like a different color. Pretty easy to swap out a different color if you like that. Uh, so feel free to change it to whatever you like. This is just uh, an easy way for me to show of this build. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. If you want to make the sidewalk bigger, you can easily make it bigger. And you don't have to make it rectangle as well. You can also just make it like a little bit round. Uh, but in this case, we are just going to do by four by four, and then this whole square will uh, is filled with these stone bricks. Now we are going to the doors, and the doors are actually pretty simple. For this, we need also the birch fence, the black stained glass pane, and also some sandstone walls. So for the hinges of the door, I use sandstone walls, one over here and one over here. One over here and one over here as well. Then, black stained glass between these two. Then we go out by one, two. Then over here just by one. Then one, two. And one, two as well up here. Same over here. One, two. One, one, two, one and two. Like this. And then you see this little gap. And in this gap we are going to use the birch fence as the door handle so now you have a nice little door like this so as you notice over here is still open so if we go to the other side we can really fill this in with the black stained glass paint so for this uh, part we are just using the black stained glass just the full blocks easy one two three and four that's it nothing more nothing less just fill that in and now it's closed off from the front and that is basically actually the whole front or facade or whatever you want to call it of this little cafe or restaurant whatever you want to make of it and now we are actually going upwards uh, with the top part that you see over there and then we will do the details which is the greenery and everything around it so let's just start with the part on top of it so to make sure this whole build has some extra layers or details in layers it's not always great to use this wall because this is obviously uh, the wall side to keep that going upwards on the same level and that's why we are going to go inwards a little bit on both sides just to give this part uh, a little more detail as if it's sticking outwards which we will do with some stone brick stairs and the slabs as well so on the granite blocks we are going to put these these stairs then over here at the diagonal part we are going to put a stair over here then we make the corner like this so go diagonal with the stairs and you will end up like this on this granite block as well 
So as you can see, it's hanging over a little bit. It's fine because we will do something else as well. So fill this in completely to the end. Then use your stone brick slab and make a little line over here and then stop at this granite block, the last granite block. Do the same thing on the other side. And that's it. So now it feels like it's going inwards a little bit. Actually, it's not really going inwards just by one block actually, but it gives a nice effect as well. So yeah. So I want to give this edge a little bit more space before we are going to build upwards, which we are going to use stone bricks, sla uh, stone bricks blocks or slabs for, and I will use the slabs for this. So we will just make a line like this and go around, go all the way to the end like this and that's it. So even though I did slabs over here, they will be gone anyway. It's just uh, to fill it up. Doesn't really matter how you do it, you can also do it like this. Uh, but yeah, well, doesn't really matter. Now, we are going inwards with the quartz bricks. Put one on the slab over here and then go out by one. And then we are going to make a sharp edge or an angle. So go all the way to the end till you meet up with this line over here. If we make a corner and we go all the way to the end as well. So if you look from the top the view will be like this so as you can see it's just a sharp edge nothing on the diagonal just a sharp corner and uh, you can also take away the slabs over here as well they were not really needed so that's that now we are going to use the quart pillars and of course as you can imagine we put one on the corner and also on the two sides as well this now the windows are too wide, so one, two, pillar. So every window will be too wide, two, pillar, two, pillar. And as you can see, we end up with two as well over here. Do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. Now this part looks a little bit flat and empty as well. And in that case, we can actually make it really easily filled in by using some greenery or some like bushes, stuff like that, which we will do later. But for now we will make boxes for plants. Easily done. From this corner over here, beneath, beneath this window, we will make a little box with some uh, spruce trapdoors. You can use other trapdoors as well. I used the spruce one and make a little box like this where you can actually put two blocks of dirt in. Now we are going to skip this window and we're going to do the exact same thing on this window. So on the stairs over here, you add two uh, slabs or two uh, trapdoors, sorry. And then one over here, one on the other side and then some dirt in there. Going to do the exact same thing on this side as well. And there you go, now it's a little bit more colorful and more filled in. So let's keep going with the windows. So every pillar we will make 5 high. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we are going to do this with every single pillar as you can see. So this one, this one, this one, this one and all these on the, that side as well. Make them all 5 high. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Really simple, so do this with all the other pillars as well. Now if you have done that, we are going to use the smooth quartz blocks and we are going to fill this between those two pillars in just the top, top row between all the pillars. Use smooth quartz blocks and just fill it in like this. Really simple. Then we are using the smooth quartz slabs and on the lower part of this block we are going to make one big line of slabs all around all the way to the other side and there you go and some extra detail as you can see a little overhang gives a little bit more detail instead of that it is completely flat um, that's why these kind of builds always stand out a lot more now we are going to the inside of the window part and we are going to fill this in with the 
great concrete block. So what I'm doing right now is just tracing the white blocks and go around every single window with these gray concrete blocks. Really simple, of course you can do it here in the corner because then the window will be too small. So only here in the corner we will leave it open, but on all the other pillars and all the other sides we will just add some gray concrete blocks. You will end up with this and then we are going to fill these spaces with the black stained glass blocks, not the paints, just the blocks. Only on this layer, the grey uh, the gray concrete layer, so not here, over here, just fill them all in with glass box. In the corner over here, just fill, in a, fill it in like this, there you go, and then all the other windows as well. And there you go, so now you have your nice windows, but it's still a bit empty in my opinion. So we are going to use some extra detail to make it extra special. And we are going to use some iron bars for that and chain. I really love chain, they make the build so much better. But first let's use the iron bars. So the windows that doesn't have a plant box in front of it, we are going to put some fence in front of the window, just like this. So on the two pillars and then fill these two spaces in. We're gonna uh, leave one window and then do the exact same thing over here. And we are going to do this of course on the other side as well. Like this and one more like that. Now we're going to the chains and the chains really easy. Go to every single window we are going to do this. Uh, go to a window, skip one block from the bottom, add one chain over here. Then skip one from the top and add one chain over here and then connect it to the other side like this. And we are going to do this exact same thing for every single window. Just between these two pillar blocks. And when you look at that it looks so much better. It still miss, misses a lot of green color uh, and some pink color of course, we will do that later. But first I want to say that this layer is actually done except for the flowers that have to be in flower pots but this layer is actually done if you want to use this layer and you want to make it higher simply start with the pillar blocks as well so use the pillar blocks this will be your bottom level of your window just like underneath here this is the start of the bottom of the window meaning that one two three four and five we are going to do the exact same thing, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here will be the smooth quart blocks with the uh, line like this, just like the one below over here. And then you can go up and up uh, and make the exact same layers over and over again. So really simple, I'm not gonna show you how to make this layer again because it's exactly the same pretty much exactly the same the only thing that is different is that i alternate uh, alternated these iron bars so instead of putting them on this window i put them over here and over here as you can see over here instead of you, uh, putting them exactly up here i just alternated them between these windows but for the rest these layers are exactly the same so just you, so you know I'm not going to show you how to make this layer again and again. Uh, this is just uh, how you make one layer and you can make it as high as you like. So I added two more layers to complete the build. Really simple. And that's actually most of this whole build done. Of course the inside is still empty and we only have one side of the build. But that's the only thing I can't really make. Why? It's because it's actually about this front, it's about this corner. So how big this build will be and how high it will be and how like wide and long it will be is up to you. You can make it as big as you want, you can add all, all kinds of new stalls and um, uh, shops next to each other uh, making this build even bigger. So that's completely up to you. In this case over here I just blocked it out with some grey concrete just to fill it in but 
it's completely up to you how big you want to make this building yourself. So that's why I can't really make a backside of this building because it's just up to you. I really want to show you how to make this part, this front of this shop uh, and as well as some ideas of what you can put above it and how you can put it, uh, put it up. That's what I try to show you in this tutorial. So let's keep going and let's put up the final detail. So the first thing we do is we start over here at the big windows down here. And uh, I forgot to show you that it's nice uh, to add some signs down here in a line just on the bottom side of the window. So do this on these all these windows, just uh, the ones down here, two over here, two over here, really simple. Just fill them in with the birch uh, signs, no text. Oh. And there you go. Now some other detail is, as you can see over there, this big sign over here. So how are we going to make this? In that case we have to look at this plant box over here. And at this trapdoor, or this block actually, we are going to count two. So one, two, then we go up, and we put a stair over here, but actually upside down. So one over like, over here like this, and then one next to it, break this one, and there you go. So, one of two blocks in between, and then two upside down stairs on the same level as this plan box. Then, we are going to use the dark oak trap doors, and we are going to make this part completely flat. So as you can see, if we do it from uh, this side, you add two, if you are in creative mode like I am then I have to fly and uh, press shift at the same time and then I can add two more layers and you can close them off like this so this is one two three and then we need one more layer like this and then close them all off like and then you have four so now you have one two three four and five if this trapdoor is not over here and it's probably uh, something like this on this level you can't put any banners on here it has to be on this side that's why uh, it has to be flush with this block uh, otherwise you can't put any banners on this uh, sign just for the sake of it i'm going to fill it in with white banners all the way down like this you can put any kind of banner you like uh, I just did a weird design uh, tried a lot of designs uh, but I did an alternating color uh, from white to like magenta or purple down here and I used some like brick texture made it black just to look like as if there is text on here uh, was a lot of work so I'm not gonna show you how to make this exact uh, design just to give you an idea of what you can actually do uh, but you can also keep it white or just actually add your own name or the name what kind of uh, shop this is maybe you can put like big cafe or bar or something I don't know but anyway you have your sign over here you can also put the sign on this side whatever you like so I like to put it over here looks really great now we are putting a um, lever over here, we flick it to the other side, then we use the chain and we are going to put a chain uh, line over here towards this lever or lever. And then we are going to delete these two because these two will be in the way of the plants that will be on top over here. And in this case, I will use the lilac. And the lilac will be over here in these plant boxes. Two over here, two over here. Use any plant you like. Maybe big ferns also look great. I just like the pinkish magenta color for some reason. It just really fits well with this building. That's why I use these flowers 
Uh, but yeah, you can use any flower you like. And then we are going to use the flowering azalea leaves. Azalea, that's the name of this plant. I really love this texture. I really love this, like these little uh, flowers inside of here. Really fits well. And that's what we are going to use today to make some extra details on this build. Or I should say the final details. Now, if you ever wonder how do you actually uh, make some like nice decorational uh, greenery on your builds or uh, give it like an overgrown effect actually it's really simple just go ham just go uh, wild with it why you can never go wrong even though you think oh it looks bad or it doesn't really look like uh, it fits well just do it just Try to, to throw some leaves down here and see if it looks good or not. If you don't like it, no problem at all. You can also delete it. So that's why I uh, also like to just uh, do it like this. Something like this, as you can see, all already looks really great. And I just spam the blocks. You don't really have to do it in an exact same way as I do or place it at the exact same place. Just go wild with it. Uh, so I did it all with one leaf type and now I'm going to replace some of them with these new leaves like this maybe one over here uh, one over here 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 yeah that looks great and look at that it already looks overgrown and it looks really great so it's really, it's actually pretty simple. The only tip I can give you if it comes to overgrown is that it always has a plant or organic feeling to it. So it's always like um, as if there are roots, you know? So they always follow a path. In this case, this is like a big part and then it sm gets smaller and thinner and it goes upwards. And then one uh, one goes this way maybe, like a root goes this way, just go down like this, um, you don't have to go up or anything. And then maybe one over here as well, so like um, two and then like maybe like this, maybe like this, something like this, go up here and then um, maybe we'll, no, we won't delete that. Uh, let's see so maybe something like this and goes upwards and gets a little thinner and then like something like this doesn't have to be perfect looks really good already and then uh, maybe one over here something like this and yeah I like that now I'm going to replace some of them with these new leaf types to give it some uh, differences in leaf types. One over here, one over there, uh, one over here, maybe here, here, one over here and here. And there you go. See how actually how easy it is to decorate a building with something that is overgrowing it it's really not that hard maybe i show it as if it's really easy maybe if you're just starting with building it's pretty hard i can get that so don't you worry if it goes uh, wrong because most of the time when i build something completely new it never goes right uh, the first time it always takes some time and i have to go back look at it and say well yeah that looks great or no uh, i don't like this block because it's weirdly sticking out so i will delete it uh, just uh, get used to it that's all i can give you or t the tip i can give you just get used to it uh, try it a lot of times and you will see that after a while you will get pretty good at it and it's really not that hard i promise if you've done it a lot of times you will get uh, smarter and easier with building and with designing as well and you will do it way quicker as well but hey that's why i make tutorials just to teach you how to make these kind of thing things 
Now to look at this uh, example, I did actually something tricky, which is, as you can see, I deleted one of these trapdoors and put it, uh, a leaf in the place of it. And I did the exact same thing over here as well. So for parts where you can't really put a bush in front of it, like over here, it weirdly sticks out. That's why I sometimes like to delete one and then just add on there maybe one back over here now it looks like uh, it is actually going inwards even though there is no trapdoor you will not see it so so also th those kind of small details and tips you can use to mask a problem by deleting a block or by changing it a little bit because if it's not directly in eyesight, you will not notice it. You will not notice it at all. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you can do these kind of things just to make it a little bit better uh, without uh, actually someone noticing it uh, that much. So let's go down like this. Uh, maybe delete this one. Uh, then maybe put one over here and over here. And... Hmm... Let's see, I want to make some like overgrown over here, that's what I sh surely want to do and then it needs to go down like this on this side and then also going upwards. Yeah, great. So now again I will delete some of them and change them into these blocks, these new Acelia um, leaf type blocks. I really love them. I really think they are a great uh, addition to the game. So I'm really happy they actually added this. And let's see, one over here and here and yeah, that looks great. Really simple. It's not that hard and then we are actually almost done. So I would like to make the seeds outside that uh, I shown in the beginning of the video. Uh, really easy what we are going to do is find the middle which is this one of course then go out by two one two then on this side we'll put trapdoors facing that way and then on this side we'll facing that way so if you open them they look like this now we can put one on top and we'll do that on this side as well then we are going to use a spruce slab in front of these two then we skip one block and we add one of these slabs on the other side as well now you can already guess it two spruce trapdoors on top of each other like this same goes for on this side one two add them like this now we use the grindstone which is a really nice block because it has like these little uh, stumpy legs which look like it's actually holding up a table or something or is actually standing on the ground. Do the same thing over here. Then press shift, use the dark oak trapdoor and place it on top. Shift, place it on top and there you go. Now only to give it some extra detail, use spruce sign, put it on both sides of this slab. So also on this side. Do that as well over here and there you go you have your two seats really easy really simple looks really great and actually that's all i'm going to show you for this tutorial so yes this build is actually pretty simple as i told you in the beginning it's really nothing special if you start building it sometimes a build from the outside looks really complicated and really hard to make but actually it isn't and if you just know those little tips and little tricks of making making a build extra detailed by just using little tricks like these chains or these walls or, or these signs down here, you can make your build look really, really great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of this really amazing build. I'm really happy with this. Even though it's really small, I hope you still enjoyed it. Also, I want to say 
a massive thank you for all the amazing support I have been getting these uh, last weeks. Somehow one of the last videos I uploaded went really sky high, went really uh, well. Uh, get a lot of views and a lot of new subscribers. I want to say hi to you all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the support. I'm really happy with all the support that I'm getting. And I hope I will reach the 500 and eventually the 1000 subscribers. And that way I can do YouTube way more often and have way more time for it. So, so I hope that I really will make it to a thousand subscribers, which I think I will with the amazing support that you guys give me uh, these days. So thank you so much for all the support. Uh, I just want to thank you all because I haven't thanked you enough. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you like this build and I hope you like the videos that I upload. If you want to see anything else, um, I have a second channel actually, if you didn't know that yet. I have a second channel which is dedicated to different games. Um, I want to play some other games. One of them is Star Citizen which I have uploaded. But also some Formula 1, maybe uh, Rocket League or any other game out there. So if you have any suggestions for games that I should play, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I have a second channel, so go check it out. You don't know how much time it costs to make these kind of videos and these kind of builds. It just, it takes so much time and I'm just really happy to have you guys uh, helping me out with this journey on YouTube. So I just want, again, to thank you. <laughs> So I quickly wanted to show you guys what it looks like when the sun is going down. It looks so amazingly aesthetically pleasing. Just, um, of course, this, this, the shader pack will help a lot with the uh, with the rays and the sun and the, uh, the clouds and everything. But like the colors and the light uh, of this build is just so I don't know, so cozy and amazing that. I have no words for it, it's just a really nice aesthetic and a nice atmosphere this build gives. Even though it's such a simple build and yeah I really like it. As you can see I've just blocked the entrance because uh, well I have no inside. Uh, I'm not gonna do the inside as well because otherwise this video will be way too long and also I want to give you guys the opportunity to make this build into what you think it should be. If it should be a bar or a cafe or a restaurant. In that case it's your time to shine and to make this build your own and your unique place. So I hope I helped you out making this, this build. But I just wanted to show you how what it looks like with the sun setting. It looks so so cool with the light and everything and these nice leaves and everything it's just amazing and i really love the pink even though yeah you know it's it's uh, yeah i know it's pink it's girly but it just fits especially this building so yeah i'm really really happy with this build so it has been fun to make this video for you guys next time i will make something cool as well i have some new plans in mind to make but first I have to work them out before I can actually make a tutorial or a video about it. So yeah, uh, give me some time to do that. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed. And with that, I want to say I will see you guys in the next video. So, well, bye bye. <laughs>